Hi, this is Vrishali and welcome to Yamalicious. In this video, we are going to answer all the pizza related queries and those which are not answered, please comment below so that we can feature it in the next video. So let's begin. In order to make pizza, today we are going to use yeast. Yeast is used as leavening agents in baking bread. There are two types of yeast which are widely available in the market. Instant yeast, active dry yeast. There is a small difference between them. You need to activate dry yeast before mixing it in the flour. To activate, mix sugar and warm water. Let it sit for 15 minutes and then you will notice that it becomes all bubbly and foamy. Then mix it in the flour. For this recipe, I am using instant yeast. So let's just begin cooking with it. Add 1 and a half cups of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon sugar, salt to taste, Mix it thoroughly. 3 tablespoons of oil, 1 teaspoon instant yeast. Here, for every 1 and half cups of flour, use only 1 teaspoon of instant yeast so that the bread or the pizza at the end won't smell yeasty. Now add half cup of warm water. Knead it in the bowl and then put the dough from the bowl onto the surface so that it is easy for us to work on it. Put some oil on the surface so that it becomes very easy for us to knead. Knead it for 4 to 6 minutes or until the dough is very smooth. By kneading, gluten is formed. This gluten is nothing but protein strands which will trap the CO2 produced by yeast and this indeed will help in rise in dough. Oil the bowl and keep the dough in it. Cover it with cling wrap or any other cloth and Rest it for 2 to 3 hours. After 2 to 3 hours, you will see that the dough has almost doubled in size, like this. Now, punch the dough so that the excess alcohol along with CO2 is released. Divide the dough. Tuck in the sides to form a ball. This will make one medium pizza and one small pizza. If you want to make one large, no need of dividing the dough. We need cornmeal to roll our pizza base. Cornmeal is nothing but very commonly known as makeka atta or maize atta. If you don't have cornmeal or you are unable to get it, then simply mix. add 2 tablespoons semolina or rava and 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Mix and use this instead of cornmeal. Now, sprinkle some cornmeal on the surface and take one ball and roll it. Remove the excess cornmeal. Oil your pizza pan and place it carefully. Now, tug in the edges. Cover this pizza pan and rest it for another one hour. This is the second rice. This will create some amazing texture and will give you a very good taste. So don't skip this step. Till the pizza base is rising for the second time, let's marinate our paneer or cottage cheese. Take 3 4th cup of diced paneer, put 1 4th teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 4th teaspoon cumin powder, 1 4th teaspoon coriander powder, a pinch of cinnamon powder, 1 4 teaspoon red chili powder, you can add more if you like, salt to taste, mix it together and keep it aside. After 45 minutes, you will notice that the pizza base has rised. Carefully put 3 to 4 tablespoon of pizza sauce. Remember, spread it very lightly, you do not want to deflate the air. Leave the edges so the pizza sauce and the cheese after melting won't stick to the pan as you will have a clean edge. This is a homemade pizza sauce so if you want to make it at home, please click on I and check out the pizza sauce video. It is very simple to make. Put 1 cup of mozzarella cheese. Here I have used diced mozzarella goat cheese. You can use any mozzarella cheese. 
you can use any pizza toppings that you wish here at this moment i am using very basic pizza toppings for you you can replace it with anything you like so put paneer capsicum here you can put yellow and red as well put some onions some olives put some pickled jalapenos and last but not the least put some boiled corn kernels on it sprinkle some oregano and some chili flakes this is completely optional today i have made pizza in two ways one is in the oven and second is without oven in order to make it an oven preheat the oven at 200 degrees celsius and bake it for 15 to 20 minutes to make it in microwave put it on convection mode preheat the microwave for 5 minutes at 200 degrees celsius and bake it for 15 to 17 minutes or until the crust is golden brown so in order to make it without oven take a kadai and place it on the gas stove put some salt at the base a quick tip you can use the salt for later baking purposes as well so do not throw it just store it separately put something on the salt to lift it up i have taken a small cupcake mold cover it with lid here i have used a pan so that i get maximum isolation now with this arrangement heat it for 15 minutes on high flame this is like preheating your oven after 15 minutes carefully put the pizza pan on it and close it you will need at least 20 to 25 minutes to bake this pizza Remember keep it on medium flame. This is the pizza from the oven. Slice it and serve. After 25 minutes, you can let the pizza pan cool a bit and then slide over the pizza and cut it. So now you can make pizza even if you don't have an oven. If you have any more questions related to pizza or any other recipe, Please do comment below and we will be featuring it shortly. Don't forget to subscribe for more such yummy delicious recipes. Till then, take care and bye-bye.